What's going on, guys? I'm Young Wansu. And I'm The Bryce is Wrong. This is Publix Bag Boy. That's what she said. And I'm Young Wheezy. <laughs> <laughs> That was pretty funny. That's exactly what she said. Mm-hmm. Uh, bag oh boy. yes, son. Bag boy, bag boy. Oh my God, who the hell cares? <laughs> <laughs> Nicely, well, well played, well, time well played, Carter Gordon. Welcome back to another episode of Old Memories, a series where me and my friends tell stories that we may or may not be proud of, and uh, this week Bryce has got a good story to tell us. So. I'm gonna let you take it away, Mr. Mr. Gillespie. Mr. Gillespie. Mr. All right. Gillespie. This is a story about my first race in track and field. What? <laughs> what? 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 Caucasian? <laughs> what? Caucasian? Yeah. what? You said your first race. You're Caucasian. Were you ever black? Yes. <laughs> I just made this a racial issue. <laughs> Congratulations. No, I was never. All right. I was not. You just go black. You don't go back. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Right. So I joined track. This is the first sport I ever did in, in any school. So it was, I was a freshman in high school. And it was the first day of practice. And the coach is walking around asking what events we would do. And I didn't really know. I just said I was just sprint and run. And I don't know anything <laughs> That's else. That's what I you're doing, track. I want to run. Like Forrest Gump, I want to run. Oh, so, so, so what are you good at? I run. You can throw. You can throw. Great. Yeah. Or jump. And then so... And then he says, you might want to do hurdles? And I was like, I'll do it. I'll do it. Why not? <laughs> Never done anything like this before, but you know yeah. what? I'll do it. Second like scariest event in track and field. I'll do it. <laughs> and, um, I figured pole vaulting would be yeah. one of the scariest things it to is. do. That's what I figured. Yeah. Or javelin. I don't know. Throwing a javelin. Would be I mean, there's no one in the field, though. Like, a small child gets in the way to get a spear no, to the like, forehead. Dude, yeah. dude, you ever been in a track and field event? No one's in the middle. Throw a javelin like a No one even cares about the middle. Like... Every, all the running is going on. Everybody in the middle is just doing their own thing. No one's watching them. <laughs> Everybody else is running. Yeah, throw a spear to go mile and have go through a window and kill a baby. <laughs> Evidently. <laughs> Evidently that can happen. That's a story for another day. Yeah. Anyways. So, and, um, so we practice on these little tiny green hurdles that are about not maybe a foot tall. Okay. And, you know, you, you, we can walk over them. You can crawl over them, basically. <laughs> So, you know, not really good practice. And then, you know, we're also practicing on our own track, which is made of asphalt and filled with holes. And it's a really bad track. It's fantastic. It's horrible. Track. Fantastic. <laughs> and then we, he finally pulls out, you know, the big hurdles. And um, he pulls out the ones for the 110. They're, you know, like a little over three feet tall. Mm-hmm. And I was like, nope, not doing it. I can clear it easily, but I'm not doing it. It's too scary. Right. So I got the ones that were three feet tall. And, uh, you know, longer distance. So, we're at our first race. You know, this is after about, you know, a month of practice, a month of training and all that. Still out of shape. You know, it's whatever. Still can't run fast. <laughs> and, and so, because, you know, Coach Yard is not a good sprinting coach at all. He's only a good distance. Mr. Sure Yard's just tall and lanky and awkward. He's only a good distance coach. That's why. <laughs> I mean, so, you know, I'm running, and, you know, I'm performing up, you know, the first, so the first two guys, the two guys above me, you know, uh, it was Trace Ludson and, uh, Trace. and, uh, Brandon Harrell, you know, they've been hurdling, or Brandon's been hurdling before, Trace the first time, but he's a super athletic guy. Right. So, you know, they're running, Brandon clears, you know, clearing all the hurdles, Trace, you know, stops, catches his breath at one hurdle, and just, standing not even a foot from the hurdle, hops it. Jumps three feet Bird. in the air, verts, and hops the hurdle and sprints and runs what? off. What? And almost catches the guy. <laughs> oh, and before this, you know, we were watching the girls do it, and one of the girls caught her ankle on, or caught her foot on one of the hurdles and just face planted Ooh. and skidded in, in asphalt. You know, most tracks are rubber, uh, and this uh, one was just. Ours is asphalt. Yeah, man. ours is asphalt. It's just, and she got up, And she got up and just. Kind of walked it off and just ran it, finished it. Ow. So, you know, I'm going up there. And have any of y'all, any of y'all three ever been, like, really nervous before the game starts? Heck yeah. yeah. You're yeah. on the field and you're like... <sighs> really about like, every game. Think about this. Every time, like, in track, you have, like, three races. So you have that feeling, like, three times in a row. You're like, all right. And, like, yeah. you have to wait in line for, like, ten minutes. Like, at most track and field events, 
he was waiting in line for like 10 minutes for every race to go, and they had to set everything back up, fix everything. The guys got to say, ready, set, go, like in an hour each. <laughs> it takes forever. <laughs> and um, so, but there was only two two uh, two teams. It was Fairhope and Bayman Net or Baldwin County High School, something mm-hmm. like that. So then I'm racing this guy. He's great above me. Only first year doing hurdles and all that. So I start running, and you know, in practice, I clear him really well. I clear him about three feet. You know, not really good. I'm supposed to clear him by like an inch, but you know, I make sure I get that don't trip up or something. <laughs> and, Take uh, extra precautions. Yeah, here. extra precaution. I I have never fallen from jumping a hurdle. I mean, I'm not gonna knock on wood because I'm never gonna do it again. <laughs> <laughs> so. I run, so I'm about to start the race, I'm freaking out, the guy starts it, and you know, and in track, you know, someone will start in front of you, because uh, cause you're at a different spot, so you know, he's about 10 meters ahead of me anyways, but he's got the wider turn, so you know, I'm running, and I'm catching up to him about halfway through it, you know, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling really good, about, you know, about eight hurdles, and about on the fourth hurdle, I take, I have almost trip after the third one, and I'm stumbling a little bit after that. And, you know, I try to jump for this next one, but I jump too early. And, but I, the, I catch myself before I jump. And I trip and I just grab the hurdle. All right? <laughs> I just grab the hurdle and I just stop there. And I was in the lead. I was like, and all the people are like, I get out here. Everybody go, oh. Just everybody go, oh. <laughs> oh. Because that was the only race going on at the moment. Everybody was watching. What? What? And it was just what? two people running. It was only two people running. So I'm like, and but then you know I had to make such a quick decision because he was catching up. So I threw the hurdle on the ground and walked around it <laughs> and, and kept on going. <laughs> and I finished the race. How, how did? Uh, how big of a penalty is that? How did they feel okay, about that? They don't care about if you walk around the hurdle. But you can't touch it with your hands. Uh, <laughs> but you had already touched I it. I already touched it. So, so you I was like, threw it on the I was like forget this crap. <laughs> <laughs> throw some elbows at him or something. <laughs> throw bows. So I come and I look at the thing. It says DQ on it. I'm like, what kind of time is that? <laughs> Dairy Queen? <laughs> Dairy Queen time. <laughs> I think I said Dairy Queen time. <laughs> So I get a free car for Dairy Queen? So I'm getting it? I get a free blizzard? So. Go a blizzard, Harry. After the race, you know, Coach R comes up to me and goes, um, uh, what, what was that? What was that? Why, 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 why did you grab the hurdle? Because I thought. I, I would have smacked my I didn't face want to die. die. <laughs> I was going to, like, either get, like, a nut shot going or blow my face out. It was either the nuts or the face. And I don't want to take either one. <laughs> yeah, so, um. I'd rather yeah. be disqualified than not have a face. <laughs> anyway, this isn't even a real race. This is just like a trial. It's just two teams. This is practice. We're talking about practice. This is two teams. And that, then after that, oh, and then I never, I've never lived this down. I never cared because I could never, I never was never able to run hurdles that well because Coach R never taught me that well. But I never won a race in hurdles. Never? Never. I never. Even, I got last every time. Well, last in my heat. There was other heats in front of me and behind me, but I got better times than them. Some of them. But I. I never did good in that. I did good in everything else. I could. I could do good in running. I could do good in jump. I did okay in jumping. Oh, I did high jump too. That was a horrible thing. I remember one time I jumped, and I hit the pole so hard. Like I, I hit the pole, and I was in the air when I hit it, and I landed right on it. And it's a metal pole, so I was like. <laughs> I'm dead. And I remember one time in high jump, the guy came up to Coach R, who's coaching it, or he was uh, watching it. Some guy goes, hey, can we Superman over it? And Coach R's like, yeah, as long as you clear it. So the guy's okay. And he, as soon as he's okay, he sprints at the thing and just Superman's over it. I <laughs> 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 got, got, got him. <laughs> so, so I, well, I remember my, my second most memorable hurdle race was in... Uh, St. Paul's. Mm-hmm. They have a nice track. They do and have a nice track. I'm running. And this big dude, you know, I lose to him. I feel stupid for losing him. Because I, I always waste my energy in the warm-up in the first sprint. And so we're about like a 10, 50 meters away. And 
the guy's in front of me, and he jumps over, in a, and he, jump, he tries to jump over this one hurdle. He's so dead. And he hits his shin on the hurdle. And so, after the race, he's on the ground crying and grasping his shin. And I automatically know, I'm like, okay, this guy must have broken his shin or something really bad. And... <laughs> <laughs> you okay there, bud? Why are you laughing? Because <laughs> he's looking over there. Well, Young was looking at the mic the whole time. Oh, God. You're just like... He's <laughs> <laughs> man alone. Oh, God. And so, when I come back, I know that he... It's because they're you. And so, I know his shin is broken. <laughs> And then, and then I come, and my one of my teammates comes up to me and goes, "Dude, he broke the sh- he broke the hurdle with his shin. What? He he broke his shin while breaking the hurdle. That's an intense, yeah, that's an intense hit right there. You know what's really bad about that? I still lost to him. You lost to a guy who broke his shin in the middle of the race. That or he hurt it really bad. I don't know." I was you break his shin and run on one foot? Huh? You break his shin and run on one leg? No, he, he still ran on the same leg. And you got beat by this guy. I was way behind him, dude. Oh, my good. So, yeah, that was uh, my amazing track and field uh, stories. What is it? It's, pretty, uh, it's a pretty good story right there. Anyway, that concludes it for this episode. Guys, if you enjoyed it, please leave it a like. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Anybody want to race me, ring it. Bring it. Rice is wrong. <laughs>